Hi and welcome to my new video. This time I'm reviewing a G-Steel G-Shock GST-B100 with all analog displays and even a more premium special edition model. The new Casio G-Shock G-Steel Tough Solar GST-B100 series now joins the Bluetooth equipped Casio watches offering connectivity with smartphones. The G-Steel Tough Chronograph GST-B100 watches use the Bluetooth calling connection. First, to sync the time with one smartphone, this one happens four times per day, and it also automatically detects and adjusts whenever uh, one enters a new time zone. Then there is an app for controlling various features of the watch, such as alarms, setting a second time zone to display at 6 o'clock, as well as switching the times between the main dial and the second hand a second time zone subdial. Other functions include a, a Find My Phone and the ability to check the watch's remaining battery life. The battery is light charged with Casio's uh, Tough Solar technology. And you can see the focus of this watch is its connectivity and Bluetooth function because uh, they have even moved their standard position of mode button to the top, making Find My Phone and Connect buttons much easier to access. Bluetooth button also has a beautiful color detail and engraved Bluetooth logo. Watch strap is very well made, but the buckle could have been made better. Tougher, I would say. The app really uh, makes life easier when setting the watch, and use of it in general. Compare it with using the instructions, it's a piece of cake. The GSTB 100 is not too large, or it's not too huge. It's noticeable on your wrist. The face gives the impression of a very deep. The screw, the hands, the mini display, they are all perfectly readable. Another cool feature and eye-catching thing, probably this model's bullet point, is the rotating disc, which is actually a, a battery level indicator. The blades rotate, uh, leaving the darker color below. This way you can monitor the battery charge level. The more of the color you see, the greater is the need for you to recharge your watch. The disc also indicates the state of the alarm when in the alarm mode. Let's see now what are the watch face indicators and overall condition of the navigation of through this watch's functions. First of all, uh, I previously said about this rotatable disc that uh, Casio calls it the turbine rotors um, look-alike. Then there is the gear hand over here which indicates the um, uh, mode of the watch that's currently in and on the other hand you have the uh, days of the week in the English letter so you have Saturday through the Tuesday now uh, let me show you how the I don't know if the camera can catch it let me zoom it up so you can better see the gear up there there it is you have the stopwatch and when I press the mode button over here the watch will screw through the mode. So you have your stopwatch mode and take a look at the subdial. It will try to align to zero so it will correct the, it will measure the time correctly when I do activate the stopwatch functions. Next press of this mode button gets us to the timer mode and you can see it by uh, observing this uh, this point over here and it indicates to timer. You have the alarm mode The second hand pointed to off, which indicates that the alarm is off. And there is also the inscription of on, indicating the alarm is on. Next press of the mode button and higher pitch of the sound gets us to the, back to the calendar mode and the gear hand over here indicates the day of the week. Uh, they call it the calendar mode. Previously they called it the standard timekeeping mode. Basically uh, it all, down, all runs now to the model. The crown of this watch is a screw lock crown and it has the uh, two uh, positions when you unscrew it so you have the first and the second position so you can pull it to the first and second position. This subdial over here is the secondary or the dual time zone uh, uh, time indicator so you can watch the time in the other time zone using this indicator over here or the minute and the hour hand and this smaller uh, even I've, I haven't seen a smaller AM PM indicator on the G-Shock models uh, so far, but there it is. It's the actually used for the dual time mode 
to indicate whether is it uh, AM or PM uh, daytime in the uh, second time zone. Over here you have your uh, uh, numbered value of your day of the week. What are the other functions? Um, previously I said that this uh, turbine is a battery level indicator but it can also be used as the uh, minutes counter in the stopwatch mode. And basically that would be all for this uh, review part. If you Thank you very much for watching. Please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more watch content. Thanks.